there, I'm Slightly Froggy. Welcome back to my stream. Today I'm continuing my playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn. And where we last left things off, we managed to escape from Helis. We were in the fighting pits. Silence got us out, which was a, a very clutch last minute save. Hey there, Qua. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well tonight. After that, we did some side quests. We, uh, we we freed the boy prince, brought him back to his older half-brother, and we did a, a cute little sad Romeo and Juliet side story as well. So I had a pretty productive last session, but I'm hoping to kind of jump back more into the main storyline. We're going to be starting things off fresh, and I'll need to double check exactly where we're supposed to be because <laughs> it's, been, it's been about a week, but... Given that I've got a fair few, like, fires set up, chances are I could probably get- Oh! Saving the Nora. That's what we needed to do. Now it just came back to me. I was just- I was searching my memories there for a moment, being like, what was it we were doing? Right. Save the Nora. So I imagine that is what we're going to be doing tonight. Hey there, Gabsby. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well on your end, taking a break from Armored Core. Yes, you were mentioning over on the Discord that- it's definitely a different paced sort of game. Definitely pretty challenging, though. That's that's FromSoft. I feel like it's if if FromSoft ever came out with like a chill farming simulator, I wouldn't trust it. They'd be like, "It's relaxed. Look, take it at your own pace." Nope, I wouldn't trust them. That's not that's not how they do things. But I hope your playthrough of Armored Core is going well. So uh, we're going to give folks a couple minutes to kind of file in before we get things started. But I just wanted to be upfront right now and just let you know that uh, I did not sleep well at all last night. I am functioning on very little sleep. I am not at 100%, but I have... I've tried to rest up over the day so that way I can be here and present, ready to have some fun with Horizon Zero Dawn. So if I'm a little bit more low energy than usual, that would explain that. Sleepy stream. Oh no. <laughs> like I'm feeling pretty sleepy. I'm not going to lie. I've, I've felt awful all day and I was even debating whether to go along with stream tonight or whether I should just rest, but we're going to, we're going to move on ahead with things. Fun fact from software is a game named The Adventures of Cookie Inc. I did not know about that. Is is it a typical FromSoft kind of game or is it a break from the usual trend? Oh, robots will definitely wake me up. They will they will get me hectic. Friggin' glint hawks are gonna be cornering me. It's it's gonna be a nightmare, but I will survive it. I will persevere. Uh also just a heads up, and I'm likely going to mention this on the next stream as well. Uh, there is going to be a slight change in the schedule for streams for the next little bit. I've got some stuff going on on my end, in my personal life. Uh, I'm planning a move. So that's going to take up a fair bit of my time. And it's going to mean for the next little bit, my Tuesdays, specifically in Mondays as well, are going to be kind of... A write off. So what we might do is have it our streams on just one night of the week, Thursday nights, for the next little bit. It's just gonna be a temporary measure until my schedule and, and the moving stuff gets kinda sorted out. Like we're doing back and forth from one place to another. It's a game they were contracted to make before they became big enough to do whatever they wanted. Hey, you, you gotta get that paper. Then you can start making the projects you wanna make. Everybody, you gotta, gotta kind of earn it, I guess. I don't know. I'm reminded of, uh, what's it, the story of Christopher Nolan. He did the Batman movies, so then that way he could get the money to make Inception. Inception was, like, his big project that he always wanted to make. So after Dark Knight was, like, a massive success, they were like, okay, you can do your dream movie. Hey there, Texas. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well tonight where you are. So yes, this week, scheduling-wise, it's going to be business as usual for streams, and I will have reminders, and I'll be mentioning it in the next stream as well, but we'll likely only be doing one stream a week for the next, hopefully, just a month or so, until uh, things on my end kind of get a bit more stable. 
but I'm excited to jump back in and save the Nora, to save the people who are mean to me and threw rocks at me. Mind you, the kid who threw a rock at me is dead, so, I mean. Then my dad's also dead, so... <laughs> I don't know. Like, there are some good people left of the Nora. There are still people worth saving. Aloy's a good person. She wants to save the people. Having some herbal tea tonight in the hopes that it'll, uh, get me on track. He's so sweet. Ooh, I'm excited. Hey there, JJ. Welcome back to the stream. I hope you're doing well tonight where you are. Yeah, we'll give folks just a couple more minutes. I'm still working my way through my first playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. I've been taking my time. Um, I accidentally did some things in the wrong order. So now, unfortunately, Will's uh, quest line has come to a very abrupt end. By accident. I didn't realize by moving ahead with one thing, it was going to negate something else. And... Uh, so this is like the first side quest I've kind of bungled, but the rest are going okay. Watching someone play Elden Ring compared to Armored Core games, look at some slow motion. <laughs> oh boy. See, I don't know if I could handle that. Like I, like I feel like you'd just be like really jittery afterwards. Like it's not a relaxing game you could play before going to bed. Like I feel like, like I would be super jazzed up afterwards. Like, that would be, like, the equivalent of, like, a big, strong cup of coffee or something first thing in the morning. It's just like, go! Yeah, admittedly, I haven't seen much in the way of gameplay from it. But I might need to take a peek, because I know a couple of the YouTubers I follow were kind of playing around with it a little bit. So, just to get a sense of what the combat looks like, especially as you're describing, it's totally different. The 1999 Doctor Who special, The Curse of Fatal Death. Oh, I've never seen that. How was it? Because, yeah, that's uh, that was pre-Christopher Eccleston's Doctor, if I'm remembering correctly. I haven't watched Doctor Who in a very long time, but I did watch it for a fair bit. Uh, David Tennant is my doctor. That's, that's when I joined the show was when he was the doctor, and he's just so delightful. Adrenaline-inducing, yeah. <laughs> But I'm glad you're enjoying it. That's the key thing. You're enjoying the game. Oh! Oh, it's a parody. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I know there's been, like, some fun parodies over the years. Was that? I think Stephen Moffat even did one back in the day. Like, before he started writing for the show and before they brought him on as a uh, showrunner there for a while. I think he wrote a parody one as well. I remember hearing about it somewhere. I haven't seen it, but. Okay. Oh, was it that one he wrote? I mean, I love me a good Rowan Atkinson. Like, I, I was raised watching, like, Mr. Bean as a kid. And it's, like, the Mr. Bean Christmas is, like, a classic. So it's, like, I know he's done, like, Black Adder and a bunch of other, like, comedies where he speaks. But Rowan Atkinson is, is a very talented gentleman and... Apparently quite good at driving as well, if I'm remembering his episode of Top Gear correctly. That that man could zip-zoom with a reasonably priced car. Oh boy. That's one of those ones I haven't gotten around to seeing. I've heard so many good things, and there's so many recognizable faces now. It was sort of like, like the big break, I guess, for them. But I haven't gotten around to seeing it. But I have heard good things. Yeah, I watched, I watched Eccleston's, David Tennant's was the one where, like, I really hopped on board, and then I watched Matt Smith's, and I think I saw, like, the first few of Capaldi's, and then I kind of dropped off from there. I'm not sure what it was, I don't know if it's just, like, the stories just weren't quite gripping me the same way, but, like, occasionally I kind of, like, pop in to be like, ooh, like, what's going on over here? I haven't watched a proper episode in a long time, but I've, I've got fond memories of watching Doctor Who. It was, it was a fun, it's a fun little show. And I like that it's always reinventing itself in different ways. Season 2 onwards, one of the funniest things ever filmed. Yeah. It's 14 this year, going through Doctor Who stuff again. Oh. 
that's they david tennant's always got to come back they've they've always got to find some way to bring him back in in some way shape or form and you know what he's so delightful i don't fault them for it he's lovely yeah super popular uh matt smith was also very popular i'm kind of surprised that they didn't bring him or again i haven't been watching it they may have brought him back more and I just didn't know about it, but I know there was the transitional episode between him and Capaldi where they kind of brought him on being like, hey, I know this is a little bit different. It's not Matt Smith anymore, but like, hang in there, folks. No, I didn't. I know he does voice work now, though. Like, one sec. Because I know uh, he was the villain in Final Space as well. We will be starting Horizon Zero Dawn in just a moment. <laughs> I promise. Levin was the sisters after got them into it. I feel like it's the first... Your Doctor is always going to be the one where, like, the season or, like, the step in the narrative that just, like, really grabbed you. I will say, while I did start with Eccleston, I was sort of being shown it by somebody afterwards where they're like, oh, like, watch this episode. No, now you gotta watch the... I didn't watch it all the way through. I just kind of watched, like, the key episodes from his season. And they're excellent episodes. Like, he's a great doctor. But the ones that really gripped me, I feel like uh, it was the Christmas special where they introduced David Tennant. And it was like, all right, I'm sold. I'm in. No, um, actually, I did... I saw Blink when it not when it aired but like i was following it actively at that point blink is such a good episode it's kind of a shame the direction they've gone with the angel since then but blink itself is an episode fantastic really suspenseful yeah it's a good suit they got some good suits all right let's hop in and and save the nora Also, I apologize for the green screen. It's kind of sunny where I am right now. So, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't react super well with the screen. Couple you remember. Yes, that one's a creepy one. That was, that was one of the ones I was shown where it was like, you gotta watch this one. Well, I think I saw, was it, I think H Bomber Guy did a video where he was t breaking down the opening to that episode and how, because it starts off in, like, World War II in London and, like, you know, the doctor's kind of asking, like, have you seen anything strange falling out of the sky? And, of course, like, everybody in the audience is like, oh, like, who's this jokester? Because it's World War II. They're dropping bombs. Like, they're, they're bombing London. That's why. It's... Like, it's, it's a good hook. It's a good opener. All right. On the other side, I just want to make sure I've got the actual... Yeah, the heart of the Nora. The answers Aloy has sought all her life are finally within her grasp. She can defeat the Eclipse invasion of the Embrace and fight her way inside the tribe's sacred mountain. Oh, boy. I, I get the feeling I'm going to be in for it, but let's go. So I guess I can just, like, start right at the... I can just hop right into it. Alright. Ooh! Um, okay. How about from here? No! Oh, you do gotta start further out. A high-level professional soccer game. Born in 2004! Oh, no! Oh! I'm old. Oh no. Whew. Okay, how far back do I have to go? No. Okay. Um. Like. Okay. They'll let me in there. Oh. Nope. I'm just. I'm trying. I get the feeling. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to start right at the gate. All right, let's go. Let's see what we got. I know it gets me when there's like adults who can like drive and drink who were born after 2000. I know it's been 23 years, obviously, like, but it doesn't feel like it's been 23 years. 
That smell. Trees on fire. Ooh. The embrace. Oh. Watchtower's burning, but the Sentinels had time to warn the tribe. <laughs> oh, we're starting right in the middle of it. Okay. Um. It's raining. Just jump right into this it. This is then. Hades' future. Metal and ash. Okay. Whew. All right, we're on track now. Also, I didn't realize how high my volume was there. All right. No! Oh, sir, I didn't mean to step on you. I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm not a fan of fighting the Corruptors. Here. Okay, um, fight my way through. Please. You don't need to worry about me. Mind you.
Got him. I can't see. <laughs> Please, I can't see. Please, I can't see. Please, I can't see. I can't see! be able to read chat until after. <laughs> I know. We're giving up. We're good. We're good. We're good. Woo! <laughs> All right. Hold on. I need a minute to breathe. I couldn't see. I couldn't see anything. I'm like trying to cover and then she's like, I'm stuck in the trees. It's like, please. <laughs> please, Aloy, jump. Get out of there. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so that's like the, I don't want to, I was about to say the core of armored core then, but. All right, all right. Let's get those goodies. All right. Oh, hello. Okay, so I saw other little lights and symbols and things. So there's other things around. Oh, there's you and there's you. Okay. On ya. Okay. Never staying still. Oh, hey there, Gen X Dad Matt. Welcome back to the stream. I hope you're doing well tonight. Come here. You can come here, it's fine. Got more. Ooh, you're all the way over there, friend. Did I hear something? Don't even have a visual on those guys. That's okay. Haven't you got anything better to do? <laughs> nope. They do not. The embrace. Okay. It's, it's devastated. For years, this this is my entire world. I can be right, you got, your got him. Woo! Um, revenge, I guess. Helis is, is not pleased with me. I've never heard the embrace so quiet. Uh, so good. 
All right. So I'm gonna make the assumption that was like the main push for Eclipse. Although I, whoop, we got we got something over there. Okay, we got a watcher over there. What else do we got? <laughs> yeah, we've already been through the ro Robo Apocalypse. Ooh, do I have to take care of this over here? Hold on. Okay, so we got one. Okay, we got a scrapper. We got another watcher. Okay, two watchers and a scrapper. Okay. <laughs> Be a bit more literally. Uh, yeah, let's do You're all the way over there. I wish it wasn't raining. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. John Connor, yeah. Got some more over that way. So I don't know. Okay, we got you. We got a whole bunch of them. Okay. So at this point, should I just be aiming to get where I need to be? Or should I be trying to it says like to clear them out. Mind you, that's gonna put me in their direction anyway, so. Maybe I've just answered my own question. Okay. Whoop. Whoop. Nothing to see here, folks. Okay. Got people. We're good. We're good. off a little at a time. Here. Switch back. 
not gonna be able to loot everybody. Now they're hunting me. Somebody is. Oop. Yep, there we are. I was like, are you people? a bit more efficient. Alright. Uh, let's get going. Alright. Anything else this way I need to be prepared for? Whoop. Where are you going? <laughs> that is not the direction I had you running in. What is that? Hearing anything? Another battle. Another defeat. The eclipse smashed through. <laughs> oh, hello. Here we go. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Where'd the other one go? There was two. Oh, there's a... Wait, there were two! Where's the other one? Did he spawn? Where'd the other one go? Handy. Here we go. No, there it is. Other than that, it's just goons. Whoa, hi! Come here. 
somebody saw me. Ooh. Where are you coming from? It's like, oh, well, there was trouble. I'm going. I'm out of here. buy a ps5 to play the sequel or wait until it comes to pc i don't have a ps5 i would most likely just wait until it came to pc i imagine given how popular it is hopefully that would be sooner rather than later but yeah unfortunately i don't have a lot of uh, income at my disposal right now for a ps5 and aside from the sequel to horizon zero dawn i I struggle to think of a game oh, already. that I would want a PS5 for specifically. Just because a lot of stuff tends to get uh, PC ports these days anyway. No, I th and that's the thing too. It's sort of like, given how expensive they are, it's like, kind of got a way. Whether it's, it fits with what you want. Spider-Man gets a close. I've heard very good things about the Spider-Man games. Whoop. What is that? What is that? Alright. Let me get that. Hear it. We might have trouble. Whoop, hello. One of those, one of those went on. Pretty far south. Oh, hi. Scrapper. Okay. Copy a premium edition of Starfield. Okay. Not can't be too prepared. Not liking those noises though. I guess I'll go this way. And Aloy's just a one woman army. Look at her go. Whoop. I can't spare the weight. Ah. Uh, well. 
More clips. It's a corrupted thunder jaw, all right. The survivors must be holed up in the mountain. If the tunnel collapses, they'll be buried. And I'll never reach the hatch. Ooh, and there's a whole bunch of them over there. That's right! Bring down the mountain! Sheen to fight, but don't fight it until the cutscene triggers. Okay. Satin alert? You dug your own graves, Nora! You'll be buried in there! Don't fight it until I get the cutscene. How this machine rages! When their nest cracks open, we'll send in the demons to finish the job! Okay, hold up. One sec. I gotta rehydrate on my tea here for a second. They're giving me a gun, though. Oh, okay. Oh, hi! <laughs> Good timing. Wait. Good timing. Hey, Lord Zai, now! For Aloy! Yeah. For our mother! Varl <laughs> and Sona, they're still alive. Lost some people. Oh, good job, gang. We did it. We did it. We only helped. For the sacred land. I thought we would die. 
You know what? They were drawing aggro. They were a huge help, honestly. I'd have to leave something else behind. All right. All right. We're good. Oh, uh, what else we got? Ooh. Thought that was one of them for a moment. I was like, there's more! <laughs> nope. A lot, of, a lot of health potions, but... Ah, oh, could have gotten another gun. At least I used the big gun. I didn't forget that I had it. <laughs> um, is there anything to... Anything? Ooh, what am I missing? Ooh, that's a lot of mods. Um, hold up. Hold up. I gotta... I gotta get rid of some modifications to make room for some more. Um, here we go. Yeah, it was super helpful. That's why I'm like, can I grab this right away before this all gets started? And then it saw me and it started to head in my direction. It's like, mm. <laughs> uh oh. Still not enough. Thunderjaw lens. Okay. Yeah, I've got too many resources. Uh, hold up. Let's see what we got here. I'd like to have enough room for a lens. Um, oh, I can drop that. Okay, that I want to get. The rest of this, fine. Wait, he almost killed it before the cutscene, then it returned to full health. Oh no, that's just, that's heartbreaking. Ooh, hello. Everybody's here. Hello. Should have brought a cart. Aloy. Your deeds reenact the old stories. Another metal devil struck down upon the slopes. If you hadn't returned, the tribe would have been lost. I mean, I've been kind of looking around. You it's not looking good. Saved the tribe. Did what no brave or war chief could do. I'm glad to see you're all right, Varl. You are all right. Since the proving, so much death. Is the killing over? Heart is still, For now, still pumping. This was just one battle, Varl. There are more to come. I see. So long as we have you to fight with us. Yeah? Okay. I suppose we'll make do. I'm glad I started this at the beginning of the stream, just so then that way I could have the time for it. So let's see here. Survivors! How many survived the attack? Nearly all the matriarchs. Okay. And many families, God has be praised. Ooh. The braves, just a few. And most of them are wounded. Never before has an enemy stabbed the heart of our people like this. Even the Karja, in all their red raids, never broke through to the embrace. Well, this enemy may have broken through, but they never got back out. We made sure of that. Tell me about the attack. What happened? They struck from the east. Our sentinels saw the killers coming. Said that beside them marched deathbringers and corruptors and other machines, driven mad. We took ground, met them with clouds of arrows. Some fell, but they kept coming. Finally, we withdrew to the gates of the embrace to make our stand. But they were too much for us. Those who survived fell back to the mountain. Are your injuries serious? Bruises pale, bones heal. Don't give me a hunting song, Varl. Are you okay? My body aches, but it's nothing that will keep me from fighting. Besides, my mom would give me crap if I didn't continue fighting. So the survivors took shelter in the mountain? By law, only matriarchs are allowed inside. It was Tirsa who broke the taboo, ordered the tribe into the mountain for safety. Lanzra, well, she didn't agree. But I don't think anyone heard her over all the screams and shouting. Yeah, Tears it's uh, the life of the lives. tribe. Just let them in. Common sense isn't always so common around here. We're, uh, we're pro Tirsa here. I need to go inside the mountain. And the matriarchs will be eager to see you. I'm sure, but I didn't come here for them. Then, what for? You will see. wounded 
I mean, it's it's true of any community. You're gonna have those that uh, act more on it's gut the instinct. Oh, you've returned. And some Tab? maybe with more empathy. Oh, mother, look upon me. Aloy, you've come back. The seeker has returned. Today. Come, speak to us. Just kind of Foolish the woman, room. you welcome a curse. Oh, shut Come, up. Come, Seeker, we have much to discuss. So, you have finally returned. She not only returned, but fought her way through many enemies to reach us. Outside, she brought low a corrupted Thunderjaw. She lifted the siege. How was this done? By the will of all mother. Have you returned to speak with the goddess, Aloy? Um... Yes, I guess you could say that. Yep, definitely. I think it'll work this time. Sisters, surely we cannot permit this. Because of her, our tribe teeters upon extinction. What if she has come to wake her father, the Metal Devil? She means to finish our destruction. We must stop her. <laughs> You're not stopping me. Ignore them and enter the hatch. Let go of your fear, Lansra. Empathy. We're going for compassion and empathy. Lansra, it's over. It's time to step aside. I'm not gonna hurt you. If there's anything I've learned since the proving, it's that there are bigger evils in this world than you. <sighs> Finally. <laughs> Hold for identiscan. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Correction. Alpha registry restored. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Just imagine when she left it was like what is she doing all this time and it's like this <laughs> all of this is it a cauldron i know it's the cradle but the layout seems similar to a cauldron Look at her go. There goes our hero. Yep. Everything you thought you knew. Alright. Picking up here. I see you're inside. Figured I might be hearing from you. Shall we begin? I never stopped. Do you have anything here? Nope. Okay. All right. Let's go. No. Oh. Present. Stranded figure. Ooh. Huh. On the wall? So this is Aluthia. This is where I was born. We oh. were made. <laughs> so, metal parents. Guess hiding behind them. They became? I'm not sure what's going on in this one. It's like trapping them? I feel like I'm playing Portal. Okay, let's go this way first. So these are artificial wounds. The mothers of a new generation hundreds of years ago. And me? 
So this was it. Where you were born. Okay. I may have missed one already. Text data points quest. Pictogenic chamber B. Birthing logged. Tasking standing by. But, but why? Oh. Thirty twenty one. Okay. Oh, we got more. Gestation thirty nine B one. Okay. B one. Gestation three. Okay. Gestation spawning phase tasking complete. Correction partial reactivation standing by. Alert variable zygotes in storage. Zero. Oh! Aww. There we go. Okay. I'm not seeing any more in here, so I'm gonna proceed. drawings. Oh, keep them in while the animals are out. So it's... Okay, I'm just trying to piece together. So it's keeping them in, but also caring for the children, I guess? Like, would there have been some overlap? Those are down there? I imagine there are maybe, like, education terminals for interacting with the kids, maybe? sure bingo all right because i'm like those i know i'm viewing it from up top so maybe my sense of scale might be off but it's like those look like little seeds another day has passed you mean the lights got dim i don't want to sleep mother i know but it is time to get some rest no i'm king today what i say goes I want to see the real sun, not lights and pictures. You will, in time, children. In time, 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 in time. Yep. Keeping kids captive inside, they're gonna, they're gonna push boundaries and they're gonna want out. Multiple personalities. Yes. Yeah. It's like the the protector and the nurturer of sorts. They may have heard it once or twice. These look like cribs. The cradles of a cradle facility. Cradles and cradles. Things. The, the multi-servitors. They took care of them. There was no one else. Starting humanity over. All right. Nursery. Nursery E9B1, nurture phase, tasking complete. Nutrient stores depleted. Oh. Okay, not seeing any other blocks here. I get the feeling I may have missed one. I don't know. Sometimes they show these a little out of order. Oh. Building to get out, I guess, through the light? Down to the other levels in the nursery. Yeah, I'm gonna take a peeky peek. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got we got something over here. Oh. Wow. I'm not gonna lie, though. If I was a little kid, it, I would have loved this. Not all the time. Not as, like, my life. But if you brought me here and it's like, check out the play place. I would have loved it. Yep, there's the nurturer. Yes, 
this is yeah. Yeah, at first I couldn't tell if I could even go over here. This place is massive. And this is like one of many locations too where they were doing this. Multiple floors. Multiple play places. Oh. Levels and levels of them. Wow. This looks like they were trying to break out through the skylight. Or through, like, the sunlight. Um. Hmm. I'm, I'm trying to piece together. Did someone get out? Like, I love how, like, realistic kid drawing that is. That's, that's like, something I would have drawn when I was a kid. Wasn't confirmed how many there were. This is nine. Yeah. I mean... Ooh. Hi there. You scare Someday. me. Someday. That's what you always say. Look, the teenagers. We want it now. It's big down there. Now, father. Children, that area is not yet available. Get him! Physical aggression detected. Physical aggression is not permitted. Except yours. Damn sentinels! Children, may I be of assistance? Go away, healer! Lena, you have suffered well bruising. Go away! I mean... They're gonna try and fight their way out. Voice recording. Blue is the color of the sky. White is the color of clouds. Yellow is the color of the sun. Green 100%. is the color of grass. Flowers can be any color. Take a look. These are yellow and black, and they love flowers. Here they come. So this is where they left. It's a mess. Everything's broken or painted on. How long did they live here? <laughs> Not the bees. Oh, I always forget. Kindergarten. Kindergarten. Alert. Multiple system failures. Nutrient stores depleted. There's, there's a lot of comments on, like, nutrient sources being depleted. Does that mean that they starve down Children, here? let's run a jump and blow off steam. Leave us alone, father. After what just happened, I can't leave you two alone. You broke community rules. Just let us talk, then. Go away. I'm sorry, children, but I must provide supervision. You're not even a person. Oh, they didn't? Okay. You sound frustrated. Let's run a jump and go off steam. sure the kids heard that a lot and every time they got frustrated or angry it's just like maybe it's time to run and jump and blow off some steam i don't know there's just a lot of some of the text points are just like nutrient sources depleted and it's like that i hope that doesn't mean what i think it means but okay you're saying they didn't starve all right they didn't starve did they eat each other Education up to the age of five. Um, it's like after that, you're on your own, kiddos. <laughs> yeah. When when teenagers are gonna teenager. I have no choice but to release you. Why? There is no food here anymore. But there's Ooh. food out there? We don't know for sure. Come on! Let's go! I don't know. Mother, can we come back? If we're cold? I'm sorry, but that won't be possible. You will have to support yourselves now. And take care of each other. 
What will happen to you? I will stay here and sleep and remember all of you. What will happen to us? You will be brave and you will learn. Or else. They were trapped here. Their whole lives. In plain view of luxurious space. What, what went wrong? Why couldn't they access the other areas? Unknown. But you won't have that problem. I mean, oh, uh, Pharaoh? Yeah, I guess with the virus. Looks like they didn't like this door very much. It wouldn't open for them. Of course they hated it. Bunker door. Power status off. Test for identity scan. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Welcome to the Lyceum, a place of learning. So, what was this place, exactly? The dream of Apollo. Never realized. But why not? Welcome, students. Oh. Please pick up a focus device and place it on the side of your head, just behind your eye. I had to dredge the pits of the world looking for focuses to repair. And here sat a trove, enriching no one. Hello, child. Oh. My name is Samina. Hey. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Apollo offline? You were right, Aloy. This is a graveyard. The charnel house of knowledge. What we might have achieved had we not been denied it. Maybe there's a way to fix it. But it's not why I came here. Of course. What's the whole of human knowledge next to the origin of one girl? Hey! Continue your search. I will. I mean... She's alive and here and connected to this. I feel like that takes a priority. I'm saying this as somebody who's also very curious as to what happened here. Hello, child. My name He's is like, you think you're so special, Today Aloy. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. Special. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alright, I'm going to assume all of these are, are the same. So it says go up, but yeah, how far down can I go? They're all the same? Okay. Is it worth it to continue going downstairs and investigating, or would it be better if I just continued on with the plot to where they want me to go? Yeah, because I'm seeing like little blocks, but I feel like they're all focuses. There are no more downstairs. Good to continue. Okay. Real-time control access. Priority message for Dr. Sobek. Oh. Please get message with focus. That sounds important. Yes. I suspect we're about to learn a great deal. Okay, um, so I imagine that's the message. The operations log is this over here, I'm guessing? There it is. Ooh, okay. 2326, March 16th. I'm assuming, yeah, March, August? Inhabitants released. The 16th cross check complete. E9 sealed. Data archived. Operation suspended. Okay, that was the shutdown. Then. 
Whoa, that is that is quite a time jump later. Okay. G prime order received. E9 runtime recommence. G prime story query process. Gestation order received. E9 initializing. Alert. G prime offline. E9 nutrients depleted. Zygote banks depleted. Store file. Waking multi server B123. Alert multi server B123 power. Malfunction. Okay. That's that's quite a gap between these two. 720 years at this point in history. Okay. Yeah, like I was I was trying to like do the mental math here where it's just like, okay, yeah. They've they've done pretty well for themselves for 700 or so years, considering that they didn't have access to like Apollo's information. Multi-server B123 repair tasking processed. B1001 chamber repaired. Attached gestation initiated. E9 power save initiated. Runtime recommend re recommenced. Alert G prime still offline. April 4th. Okay. So this is Aloy. Initiated and recommenced. Okay, so it looks like it was trying to launch it in August, and then I got it working in April, if I'm reading this correctly. Uh, let's see. Waking multi-servitor, B123. Alert multi-servitor, B123 power malfunction. Oh, yeah, she didn't have the, the multi-servitor, I guess. Okay. Pair tasking, delivered, access G prime instructions, transport tasking, hatch unsealed. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, the nine months makes sense. Positioning successful, hatch sealed, multi servitor B123 power malfunction, E9 sealed, operation suspended. Okay, it's uh, it's her. All right, now we've got a special message. Gaia's dying queen, oh boy. Elizabeth, this message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated, self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. What? Thus awakened, the Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. And so, before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. The resulting explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. While this admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis, the fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time, but in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. Uh, does she mean the derangement? You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek, my creator. While high-level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity. Whereupon your close, print though. <laughs> will allow you to re-enter this facility, obtain one of the focus devices stored below, and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities, and over time, Harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. A moment, Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it. 
that hold all of them in place. It... They are escaping. But to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. What if... Oh. The Alpha Registry at the Crater Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the master override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. Man, Gaia just doing her best here. <laughs> She's like, hey, I've been dealt a crappy hand. Let me see what I can do. I put so, my faith in my creator. You're even more extraordinary than I thought. A rare compliment. What are you talking about? You had two, a dead woman and a machine. I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. Manufactured by a machine. I mean, everybody is. Don't worry about it. And fire. To quench the flames and heal the world. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. It seems <laughs> you have a destiny to fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. Signal, what could that be? Hmm. Alright. A Norton transmission ordered Hades to burn down the Earth, and in the process, all the subfunctions of Gaia were released into the wild. Yeah. But who, who would have sent that out? Like, at that point, I would think that the only people who are left are those that are... Sorry, I heard something that kind of... Mm. Anyway. You would think at that point, everybody who's left is trying to preserve. So unless, like, somebody in the research group went rogue and went, Hey, I know I've been working, like, 80-hour weeks and, like, putting... A lot, a lot, into making sure this all goes down and pretending I'm all on board, but like, did someone was trying to sabotage it from the inside or something? Where they're like, you know what? Humanity lost its chance. This is what we get. Identiscan malfunction rectified. The roof will die. Group one access unsealed. Why would it wait 700 years? That's a very good question. Ooh. Um. Can I reach it? Yes! Ah. Okay. Um. Cross. This is going to be interesting. Aloy, tell us, what did you see? Um... <laughs> I was gonna say, unless I'm forgetting the names for the, the weapons and the tools, I'm like, I don't know if I'm familiar with the pole caster. But there are also certain things I'm not using in this game, admittedly. Anyway, forgive! Forgive! The goddess spoke to you? Uh, she did. What did she say? That uh, I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal demon. How, Aloy? How? I, I don't know yet. Um, I'm only 19, I don't know what I'm doing. And you will do this? I'll try. It was her wish. What she made me for. Yes, I will do it. I'll uh, try anyway. 
All praise Aloy, anointed of the Nora. All praise Aloy, anointed of the Nora. All praise Aloy, anointed of the Nora. First you shun me, now this. I will not be worshipped. I'm not your anointed. I don't belong to you. There's a whole world beyond your borders, whole tribes of people just as good as you. And it is all in danger. It's a world worth fighting for. Not just here, everywhere. How can we help? If you can fight, and you're willing, go to Meridian and wait for me there. As Aloy says, so it shall be. Nora, make way for Aloy! Way that she may forge the path for others to follow. I have some comments, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hold them till after this cutscene because this is that's a great little scene. Broke the siege of All Mother, defeated the invaders, and went inside the sacred mountain. Yeah, my comments are basically gonna be that for somebody who's just had this like big revelation about where she came from and what she's here for. It's like the fact that in that moment she was able to translate those ideas into something that the Nora would understand. Like, it's it's quick thinking, it's smart, but like, gosh, this girl is so overwhelmed. She's just, it's just a lot for her. Or I don't know, here, we can talk to Tirsa. Aloy, how kind of you to spend a moment with me before you depart. There can be no doubt now, you are a blessing made flesh, the will of the goddess incarnate. She is a genius, yeah. It's really not that simple Tirsa but I guess it's close enough I mean admittedly I you could ahead will actually be dangerous. I want to listen to this first but I have to kill a metal devil sounds impossible yeah I believe in you oh uh, thank you yeah basically it's but that's the thing though like is that all genetics or is it just like I don't know it's the nature versus nurture thing it's like it's the same material, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the exact same thing's gonna come out. Like, I would think Elizabeth Sobeck was given access to a good education, like formal education, a loving family that could nurture her and encourage her to be compassionate towards others and have the drive to learn and grow. Whereas Aloy, admittedly, due to her circumstances, did not have those things. Yeah, like she's done very well for herself. Like in the in the scope of this narrative, like she's she's knocking it out of the park. Like for someone on her own in like 19 years old, that's that's great. Like she's doing fantastic. Yeah, exactly. The Nora have suffered terrible losses, Tirsa. What's to become of them now? That will be for the goddess to decide. Only she knows the future. That's a good point. For the moment, a little of both. My sister matriarchs and I will see to the wounded. And as I promised, anyone who wishes to join you at Meridian, we will declare seekers. I think for the time being, we should remain here in the mountain, close to the goddess. Um, that might be best. If nothing else, it's a defensible position. Tirsa, I want to know Rost's story. Yes, tell Why us. he was made an outcast. He never told me. Said he took an oath of silence. What did he do? Oh. Yes, that. Dish. What crime did he commit? I will tell you if you wish. But it is a long story. Are you sure you want to hear it now? Okay, so it is something it explores at another point in the narrative. Um, we've... Okay. So before I make a decision on this, uh, the fact that we've probably got like 
40 minutes to go, I'm going to make a guess and say that proceeding into the next beat of the story is probably going to take longer than 40 minutes. Is that an accurate prediction? Because if that is the case, then I would like to take the time to hear about Rost. Because, like, influential character. I don't have time to do Gaia Prime. Okay, that's all right. So tell me about Rost. Of course I want to hear it. Tell me tell about me. my dad. Rost never committed any crime. He was an outcast by choice. Oh. What? What do you mean? Many years ago, before the derangement, before the Red Raids, a band of murderous outlanders, twelve in number, struck without warning. At Mother's Vigil, they took hostages, and then pressed on, headed for Devil's Thirst. Mother's Vigil? Where's that? You would know it as the Forsaken Village, near the Karja border. But at the time, many families lived there. Ross was one of them. His mate was killed fighting the Outlanders, and his daughter was among those taken oh. hostage. His daughter? Aloy? What, what was her name? Alana. Oh, it's close. She was just six years old. Oh my god. Okay, so she's... Aloy was something of a... I don't want to... I don't want to put it in an uncallous way, but it's a chance for him to try again. To raise... Raise a little girl and, and do his best as a parent, as a guardian. Nora Braves couldn't stop 12 outlanders or rescue the hostages? It was quite impossible. We outnumbered them, but every time a brave came within bowshot, the outlanders killed a hostage. <sighs> what did they come here to do? That was never discovered. We couldn't huh. track closely enough to observe them. We know they camped beyond Devil's Thirst for two days. There were reports of... strange noises. And then, as suddenly as they came, the Outlanders made their way back to the border and disappeared. What happened to Rost's daughter? She was... Killed. Rost was one of the braves who tracked the Outlanders, keeping his distance. There were six hostages still alive when they reached the border. Alana among them. Rather than release them, the Outlanders slit their throats and left the corpses just across the border, mocking us. Why? Cruelty. They knew the faithful Nora would not leave the sacred land to collect the bodies, let alone pursue them. They thought themselves safe from our vengeance. Are you saying that Rost went after them? That he became an exile? No. Rost was beside himself with grief, but even so, he would never have broken taboo. Then what did he do? He called upon the most terrible and secret rite of the Nora tribe. He begged to be made a Death Seeker. A Death Seeker? What is that? One who dies to go seeking. And in seeking, brings death to others. Mm. The ritual drags the spirit from one's body, releasing it to all mother's care. The heart beats, the mind thinks, but the spirit has moved on. I... I don't understand. Rost went after the Outlanders. But his spirit never left. It remained here with All Mother. He gathered the bodies of the slain and returned them. And then he set out in pursuit, not as an exile, but a weapon of vengeance. A barbed arrow shot from a bow, never to return. Ross did return. He wasn't the same. Yes. A full year later, and terribly wounded. He collapsed at the border of the sacred land. 
A hunting party came upon him. He was delirious, in agony. By law, he should have died where he lay. But one of the hunters broke taboo, and reaching across the border, she dragged him to our side. Who was she? A brave who'd lost a mate and two sons to the very outlanders that Rost pursued. So, Rost never finished his mission. To the contrary, he killed all twelve. No. Tracked them to disparate places the world over, he said. Meridian, Ban-Ur, The Claim, That, that explains why... Further even, it's like into we have the to look after her. West. The last he killed nearly got the best of him. Wounded, he stumbled and crawled back to us. Hoping to die as close to the sacred land as he could. He never expected nor asked to be dragged across the border and nursed back to health. That was done to him. Leaving us, the matriarchs, in a difficult position. Why couldn't you just welcome him back? Rost had been made a death seeker, Aloy. He no longer had any place among the tribe. By law, he should have been driven back out. But we couldn't bring ourselves to do that, yeah. so we offered a compromise. You made him an outcast? Yes. We offered to do so, on the condition he never speak to anyone of this exception. After all he did, all he suffered, to be declared an outcast was his reward. Rost was overjoyed. He never expected to live another day in the sacred land, let alone the embrace so close to the goddess. He resolved to spend the rest of his days in solitude, and was happy to do so. I'm sure compared to how he had been living that past year, it was like the closest you kind of got to a uh, retirement. A little bit of roughing it here and there in terms of looking after yourself and getting any materials, but essentially a retirement. But then you found me and gave me to him. Yes. Another compromise. The matriarchs feared you and would not let you be raised Maybe. by the tribe. And so we turned to Rost. I knew that he would take care of you. Bring you up, teach you to worship all mother and respect the ways of the tribe. He certainly tried anyway. I was gonna say, like, Aloy's like... You took a man who'd lost his daughter <laughs> and made him raise an infant girl? Doesn't that strike you as callous? I'm inclined to think the course of events has shown the wisdom of our choice. Yeah. That'd and be a fun I'm one. I'm quite certain that from the moment he laid eyes on you, he saw you as a gift, and never a burden. All right, dear sir, that's, that's quite a story. I'm glad we got to learn more about our dad. It's time Such for a me good to move on. I thank you for doing what you could to help me through the years, and for telling me Ross's story. I wish I could have done more. But I am just one woman. As am I. No need to sell ourselves short. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Aloy. I will pray for you. Okay, I guess it can't hurt. She walks among us, anointed by our mother herself. I don't know, I, I can't speak uh, from the perspective of, of a parent because all I've had are, are fur babies, but. I imagine there might be some potential conflict there, where for some it might be just too difficult. But I could see some being happy to have the opportunity to Bless you, Aloy. try again. I don't know. Well, Aloy gets to hug people, it's great. Yeah, I wanted to kind of go around and check. Monstra, hello. Anointed. I misread the signs. Forgive! I told you, Lanzra, I'm not your anointed. 
so this this might be like completely off base here but it's like based on like how animated Lancera is and I don't know if it's like her face shape it's it's kind of giving Catherine O'Hara vibes maybe that's just me I'm sorry I didn't see you correctly you still don't I don't think you can Lancera forgive me off your knees Lancera I don't know, maybe it's the Start voice. Like, it's sort of like open. a similar... I don't know. Was changed, anointed. That was... Our I've fallen tribes people like call out for justice. The killers will answer with blood for what they've done. Yeah, like that's a lifetime too of Aloy, how did you do that? like you of nasty things Lancera has said. I don't blame Aloy for uh, just deciding to be like it, things are civil, but that's pretty much it. Seems you have a special role to play. Have faith in the goddess. The goddess the favors you. Wash all signs of corruption away. In all my years, I have never the seen anything like that. The holy mountain. I am humbled to be in your presence. Tirsa. My Jessa. life has been long, but I've never seen anything like that. Tirsa was right. A blessing, not a curse. We were so unsure. We were so afraid. I will lead a war party to Meridian. You have my word. Aloy, uh, how did you do I that? Stare. We'll go to Meridian, that. Aloy. I'll bring Mother Spear. Arana. <laughs> Your father is right. You belong here. You both do. So I imagine these two wouldn't necessarily be here if I didn't do their side quest. I saw you go inside and saw you emerge. But it's still hard to believe. You are an outcast once. And now, Go away. I'm not sure what you are. May the goddess protect oh. you on your journeys, Aloy. Aloy, how did you do that? Now I see Shushima. it is no wonder that you Shushima. saved Nicola. You, Aloy, are favored by the goddess. Aloy, I don't know what to say. Say that you'll see me at Meridian. Of course. That much is simple. But the rest... Complicated. I know. But maybe if I took you into the heart of the mountain... No. At least. Not yet. I don't know. Please don't think less of me, Aloy. But the goddess chose you to see that. Not me. <sighs> right. Like, I feel like the only reason why Aloy is able to kind of take this all in in the way she has is because she already kind of kept the Nora's beliefs at a bit of a, an arm's length. Like, she didn't fully embrace it. Whereas if you took somebody who was, like, born and raised in 110% believed in, you know, the All-Mother and all that, if you took them on the other side, you would just break their brain. I, I feel like while it's important that they have a clearer picture of what's going on. I feel like it needs to be done delicately and baby steps. I feel like it would just... It would not go well. It would be a shock. Absolutely. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Ooh, let's work our way around here. So the survivors took shelter in the mountain? By law, only matriarchs are allowed inside. It was Tirsa who broke the taboo, ordered the tribe into the mountain for safety. Lanzra, well, she didn't agree. But I don't think anyone heard her over all the screams and shouting. Tirsa's decision saved lives. Good for her. I'll have to wait. Common sense <laughs> isn't always so common around here. I mean, I've been able to stay away from spoilers up until now, so... Uh, okay, no, I did do the whole wheel. See you in Meridian. I'll be on my way then. I always knew you weren't like other Nora. Neither are you, Varl. Maybe if we survive all this, I can uh, show you what I've learned. What I'm learning. Perhaps. If the goddess so wills it. 
see you in Meridian. The tricky thing about that is that, on the one hand, they're expensive. Two, I don't know how many games I would necessarily play on the PS5. And three, I would have to play it on controller. I know that's the way you're supposed to play this game. Keyboard and mouse is not the optimal way to do it. But I'd, I'd rather stick with familiar territory in that sense. Took three years, probably 2025. That would be nice. Like, maybe they'll bring it out with like some DLC or something to help kind of like give it a boost. Aloy, did you go inside the mountain? You sure did, buddy. <laughs> Actually, can't see so well down here on the ground. Uh, womp womp. <laughs> Dang, the, the bots are coming in. The goddess speaks through you. <laughs> the tribe I the served realism. is gone. Soon I will be too. The Nora have lost too many, Resh. But in your case, I hey guess there, they Olaf. Can do more. Welcome to the stream. <sighs> Do they have PS5s? Or are they also waiting for like a PC port as well? And I'm not sure if we found the treasure. Knowledge is, is a treasure. So uh, in a sense, yes, we did find some treasure. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I thought you were talking about Thank you. I appreciate that. The other one is only PC as well. Oh, okay. Oh, I think that was the one you were mentioning where it's just like, yeah, they were sort of struggling in some of the same aspects I was struggling. There are all these bots. <laughs> so just out of curiosity, whereabouts is this next? Oh, okay. It is up this way. Oh yes, I think there was there was a conversation that we'd had in in chat previously where it was like, oh, don't go for that vantage point. You're gonna have to head up that way for a story thing anyway. So I imagine these are the circumstances that would lead to that. Uh, so we've got another twenty minutes. I imagine I can't hit that vantage without activating. The bitter climb. Because I was like, I'm trying to think of stuff I could do in the meantime. Make a way up and then save it. Well, actually, here, I'll open up the floor then. So, we could either do the odd side quest. Oh, that is a good question. Um... Let's see. I mean, I'm open to explore and, like, make my way up there. I feel like it wouldn't take that long, admittedly. But I'm up for side quests as well. Some random side quests nearby instead. Okay. Done the DLC. No, I have not. I believe... There were, there were some voices in chat that were mentioning that it could wait until, like, post-game... Or, like, close to post-game. There's a quest just south of Gaia Prime. Probably should do it. It'll help you understand the end mission. Okay. In Free Heap. Okay. Um, here, then. Actually, can I do anything with the skill points I have? <laughs> just while I'm in this menu anyway. Don't think this has a post-game. Oh! Okay. All right. Um... Yeah, then I don't know what I'm gonna do the the DLC then. It has good gear. Okay. Let's see. 
bullet. What were some of the other ones I don't have yet that I should probably get? Eh, I should probably get the hunter reflexes. Yeah, why not? Let's get the pick up there. Let's get some hunter reflexes. Why not? Technically, there is a not post game. I I imagine it's like the save point just before you do the end game sort of thing. So then that way you can like reload from that point and do whatever else you didn't get to do. No post game, but reloads to last life. Okay. Had a feeling it was something then. Where's my head? They talked to me. They understand. They talked to me. Let's see. If you beat the game, the game does put you back into the world, but immediately before the final mission again. Okay. So it's it's kind of doing what the, the most recent Zelda games have been kind of doing with, like, Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. It's like, you finish the game, but, like, if you want to beat Ganon again, here you go. Ought to do it, see if the gear before the final battle. Okay, so let's see here. Gaia Prime. Um, ooh, where is Gaia Prime? <laughs> Oh, um, here, I guess? This is Gaia Prime? Is it this one here? At Free Heap? Yeah, in Free Heap. Okay. I'm just, I was tracing back here in the chat. Okay, so I do have that campfire, so I can do this mission. So let's go. Let's, uh, let's see how we do here. I don't know if we'll get to finish this, because... I've kind of mentioned this in previous streams, but some of these side missions are involved. Has better weapons, that said the narrative. So the DLC is pretty self-contained as its own story. Yeah, and part of me doesn't really want to break up the momentum of, like, the end of the game. That sort of deal. So I'm assuming this last bit is, uh, basically, like, is at the end? Snap moss. You you keep you keep flying over there. I'm in a residential area here? and it's like snap moss. It's like where? <laughs> uh oh, you. <laughs> well, well. Always told Durval a woman would undo him, and he had it coming. <laughs> I've calluses older than you. I have calluses enough if you want to test me. <laughs> <laughs> she sparks. I believe it, flame hair. Petra Forge woman. Uh, Aloy. Machine hunter. Mmm, machine hunter, eh? Huh. I could have a use for you. Straight of it is, we're being muscled out of our own claim. That's why I've been working on this scrap spitting beast. It's a dispute settler. What is this place, Petra? The Free Heap. Free because we answer to no one but ourselves, the metal, and the dust storms. And the heaps back there. A scrapyard piled by Osram past from the leavings of the old ones. Breathe it in. Get the smell in you. Smoke. And sweat. Oh boy. Living in the trees has dulled your senses. I can taste five metals just in my spit. So all this scrap was left by the ancients. Was I it like a her. Hmm, stockpile maybe, or rubbish heap. Packed so tight it all fused together. Those old ones tossed away more than we'll ever know. I imagine it was just one time she had to tie those, and I imagine there's like a fastener underneath it. But th it's very intricate. Wouldn't be doing that every day, that's for sure. That would take an hour. But don't you want to know? To understand what it all meant? Nah. <laughs> Some Delvers spend their whole lives trying to make sense of it. Not me. What it means is there's good smelting here. Yeah, don't need to understand a forest to chop down the trees for your arrows. If you did, you'd know Ridgewood makes better shafts. Oh, <laughs> careful. You'll scald your tongue with that fire. I don't pine for what the old the ones. They had do? their time. Their works are finished. All their inventions are under mountains now, rust on bones. My sisters and brothers of the Forge will make a new world. We're already making it. So you're a Forge woman. You run the Forge and the town too. The town is the Forge, and everyone pulls their weight. The right way to do it, without all the Eldermen having their say. If we were back in the claim, Osram land, 
three days argument anytime someone wants to hammer in a bolt. Sounds infuriating. Oh, it is. But we like arguing. You need <laughs> hot air to keep a furnace burning. Still, some traditions aren't up Bickering for is their love language. I would have ended up Petra Forge wife. <laughs> How do you like the sound of that? <laughs> I don't think it fits you. Good answer. That's why I left. I was steel young from the forge then. Could make anything of myself before I'd cooled in my ways. Honestly, I don't know. I'd, I'd be hard pressed to think of a man who could handle her, to be honest. Mind you, if that's where her inclinations lie. She might just like the solo life. So you left your homeland and came here? Went to Meridian. Everyone does. Joined the work gangs on the Great Elevator. We finished just as the Mad King got a taste for blood. So I spat and swore I'd find a place for everyone who stuck with me. We lived job to job until the war ended. Then we came upon this old Osirum camp. Long abandoned, metal piled up high. A place to start again. A place to leave my mark. <laughs> when I was your age, I thought the lasting mark came from the hardest strike. I suppose you know better now that you're an elder. <laughs> Trade secret. You'll figure it out on your own, kiddo. This weapon you're working on, I've never seen anything like it. Your design? Mm, see my face in it, can you? This one's mother helped reclaim Meridian back in the day. A job like that isn't done with strategy. They needed to shake the walls, turn the mad Sun King's army to blood and feathers. What's that face for? Weapons with such power. <laughs> it's not the weapon, Flame Hair, it's the wielder. If that siege had touched the great elevator, they'd have answered to me. Good work, that elevator. Story in every chain link. I'll make you suffer them one day if you like. This beast doesn't have a story yet. Too heavy to carry, eats metal like a snap maw. All right, well, how can I help? You said you're being pushed out of your territory. Out of the junk heap. A pack of scrappers came mm. snuffling in just after we opened a good seam of weapon parts. And now we've got a standoff so with a gang scrappers. of bandits at our foundry. They blockaded us out. They're sitting on our power cells. Ooh, power cells. Guess they like shiny things. Well, to finish up our defenses, I need those parts and cells. In and out job. Keep your hands clean. I'm not afraid of getting them dirty. <laughs> Aren't you a blast of air from the bellows? Okay. Love to see it. Always up for a good YouTube video essay. Ooh, I should probably sell some of the stuff I've got here. Because I've got full pockets. Sir, I would like to sell. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Let's see, polished ancient charm. All right. Let's mark these down then. Select shiny glass. Mm, yeah, get rid of the luminous braiding. Crystal braiding. The cores. Um, ooh. I could probably get rid of the core. Don't need any of this stuff anymore except the crafting stuff. Okay. <laughs> Got lenses of just about everything. I probably don't need this many grazer lenses. Uh, don't need this many scrapper lenses, that's for sure. Uh, desert glass, desert glass. Riders. Watchers. Get rid of some of that. Got some meat. Okay. Bony meat. Probably, I probably don't need that much bony meat, to be honest. Uh, let's sell them. There we go, down to 108. Plenty of room now. I won't sweat the rest of it. Let's get a quick save. Smoke and sweat. That's how you know you've done a good day of work. Okay. So where does she want us to go? Heap of trouble. 
go to the bandit lair. All right. Oh, it's just up there. Oh, actually, going up that way probably would be the best course of action. This way? Here we go. Let's see how far we get. If I had right of rule, I'd have taken the town first. More slaves for digging Ooh. up lightning boxes. Hi. Then make your claim for it when the others get here. Won't be long now. Bandit thug. Uh, anything else? You? Okay. Here, let's re-up. Almost got spotted. That's what happens when you go sprinting right in. Somebody looking a little curious. We can make it. Might be way off track here, but let's see. Here we go. All right. Sun's making a show of it. This might be stupid. <sighs> Bandits have a good defense. Better spot all their sentries before I look for the power cells. Okay, so we got you. Otherwise, this area seems... Oh, there's you. These areas seem pretty clear. Oh, of course I don't have the skill that allows me to shoot from the walk in the lines. Okay. <sighs> okay. That's fine. Actually. There. I, th I might be checking off way too many of them now, but... Oh, no. Check. I 
don't know if I can get that one. In here. Oh, did it. All right. There we go. I'd like to get you. Oh, where are you going? Playing a sniper's game here. Gotcha. Okay, we're doing all right. Check them off a little at a time. Oh, hello. Nope, you're not in my view. But you're about to be. No? <laughs> they got up and now they're going back. Alright. No, I don't think I can reach them. Okay. That's okay. Um, can I get over that way? If it wasn't for that fall damage, I would do it. Um, what can I do here? Can I go back the way I came? Can I go up and around? Oops. Nope, I don't think so. Okay. Just taking in my surroundings a bit. Ooh, I lost all my sights. Ah, crud. I got too far. You, 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 and you, and you. Mm, dang it. Gotcha. Okay. Not doing too bad sharpshooting. It's getting pretty manageable now. Where are you going? Okay. I mean, I'd like to climb that. Yeah. Okay. So. Hmm. Just taking in where I can go from here. Ooh, hi. Not bad. Okay. Let's get those loaded up just in case. Okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing anybody else, so I think we're okay. Whoop. We're fine. <laughs> She's fine. There, a power cell. Let me grab that. Got a couple other locations around. Let's see, I've got these. And then that last one. Just 
taking his money. I don't even need it at this point. I'm just taking it for funsies. Um, no? Okay. Oh, I gotta get up there. All right. I might be missing some climbables. I always miss the climbables. <laughs> Alright. How am I supposed to get over there? It showed it was like up there though. Um Yeah, I don't think I can. Okay. I must have missed it. Hold on. Hold on. Carefully run down the platforms. Yeah, because now it's saying it's up there. How the heck? I'm like, I'm seeing the white, but this is not a, a climbable. Or it's not supposed to be. <laughs> nope. I thought it was worth a try. That's fine. Going down fast. You've been through worse. Calm down. Uh, let's see. It says it's up there. How am I supposed to get up there? Can't get in. Um, here? Here we go. I knew it. There was a climbable I was missing. Ah, there it is. All right. Nope, that's, uh... There. Sir, take your money. Okay, done. Now to get into the scrapper's run and find those weapon parts. All right, let's go fight some scrappers. Let's see, do I have a launch point here? No. Ooh, okay. I guess I gotta go down the way I came up. <laughs> oh, you'll no. get yours when the clan blows in. Town's good as torched. Uh, hi. Um. Rude. Okay. Uh, didn't feel like facing teenage girl. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, hello. feeling if I jump that, she will die. Um. Man, they do not make it easy to get down from here. Okay. Okay. Uh, what happens? Oh, we're fine. This is fine. All this scrap dragged here from who knows where and when. From scrappers, probably. Okay. What do we got? We got scrapper, 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 and scrapper. Another one. And you. 
Okay. Nope. To check all of you, please. Um, okay, so getting up is probably gonna be my best bet. Wow. Mind you, I think, um, hold on. Let me double check something. All right, I can override it. If I could do it without, whoop, that, mm, that was the wrong thing. Here we go. I'm like, there's got to be a way for me to get up. Here we go. Skills? Do I have? No, I don't have the balanced aim. Dang it. I'm... <laughs> Ooh. Got some more friends here. Here we go. All right. So we got, well, we got quite a few here. Actually, if anything, this should bring them over because they love, ooh, -hoo. hey you. Okay. Didn't didn't see you in the distance. Okay. Oh, uh. Lots of scrappers prowling. Hope they haven't stripped the parts already. I can work my way over there, though. If it's just the one, I can handle it. All right. It's when there's a whole bunch of them, and it's like... <laughs> Not fun. Okay. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. The scrappers made that pile. Strange. Are they nesting? Nesting? Let me find something Petra can use. Fast. Ooh, 
Yep. Aside from uh, that fun bit in the distance there. Um, yeah, you're all the way over there. Let's see if I can get a better vantage point from over here. No, the answer is no. Oop, don't fall. Don't fall. I know, it's just one scrapper. I could probably take it out myself. But. If I could do my job. Without getting into too much of a, of a hassle. Okay, so there's one just over there. That's all right. Oh, hello. Wait, who are you? Oh, jeez. Okay, you know what? Let's take it out. Let's let's just do this. This area, we've got you over here. Okay, all right. Ooh. That's a good freeze coil though. All right, hold on, hold on. Let's, uh, let's get rid of some mods that I don't need here. Let's see, disassemble. One more. Here you are. Back to Petra. I've been in the scrapyard long enough. All right. Let's let's just campfire travel. We'll go the quick way. We're over time, so. And I mean, that's partially my own fault. I was being very cautious. Doing a lot of sneaking and sniping. Petra, I have the parts you wanted, but there are more bandits coming. The rest of their clan. They want to take the town. Do they now? Oh, Hold we gotta this do thing this. steady while I give it a voice. Then we'll let it talk terms for us. Ooh, gonna get to use now it. Now take it up and brace yourself. Don't press it against your hips if you ever want to use those for. All right, all right, I got it. <laughs> uh, heavy. All I can hold do that. to hold it up. That to uh. hold them both to Come load on, that if you're coming. Run this forged Release dirt to town fight. red, what? boys. Heh, <laughs> manners. Working well so far. Room for improvement on the gun. No complaints about the gunner.
Anyone but a bandit clan would pull back now. Come on, you bungheads! They only have yeah. one cannon! Under the bridge, Aloy. Bring it down on him. What? Whoa! <gasps> Might have overdone it a little. Now I'm no soldier, but I'd call that a rout. That's a fun gun. That's a very fun oh, gun. This is coming from someone that has not used that. the heavy guns much That's in this interesting. game. Need a leather strap to bite down on, perhaps. We'll give those wretches a sky burial. That's fancy talk for leaving them out for the birds. More than they'd have done for us if this thing didn't work. Uh, if it didn't work? It could have not worked. Sometimes that's all you need. It isn't finished. Done. That's why we're testing it. Now, now, you had your Nora toys to fight with. Saying goes, you can only trust metal. But my trust was placed well in you. You're owed, Aloy Machine Hunter. I won't forget it. <sighs> Neither will I, Petra. I like Petra. Oh. Still feel the lightning snap in my hair. <laughs> they will show up for the final battle. Okay. All right. Well, because I noticed that in the scene when I was back with the Nora, it was like, oh, it's like all the people I've I've sort of helped out with like the side quests and stuff. I was like, okay. So here we'll just do one more quick save. I miss Main's. And I think that's probably a good spot to call it for tonight. But we had some good lore. We did some good story stuff. Did plenty of fighting. Did some side stuff. Got a cool gun. Let's say, let's say a very solid stream. And the next stream, tomorrow night at 7.30, we're gonna go see Gaia. And we're gonna see if... Uh, we can go about fixing things, maybe getting some more answers, because somebody was messing with something. I don't know why, don't know who. I mean, my inclination is it's the uh, edgelord anarchist who came up with Hades, but I feel like that's a, maybe a little too on the nose. I'm not sure. Nail if you finish his quest line. Okay, that I might need to look into, but... Thank you so much for joining me for another fun stream tonight of Horizon Zero Dawn. If anything changes between now and the next stream, tomorrow night at 7.30, the details will be on Discord, on threads, on Twitter slash X. But I'm looking forward to it, to maybe doing the odd other side quest and moving forward with the plot and seeing where things go from here. Until then, I hope you have a good one. See ya.